But something else that was discussed there, guys, I really want to get into is something that I felt very passionate about because I was actually called and warned not to go there. And thank God I work for myself. Whoopi Goldberg, as you know, who works on The View, was recently suspended for two weeks after she made a comment on the show called The View. Now, I felt very passionately about this when this happened, and I went to my Instagram with no script, as I typically do, and I said this. Take a look. Y'all suspended Whoopi Goldberg. You suspended the color purple on the first of Black History Month. You suspended the only Black EGOT, or maybe she's not the only Black. Is she the only Black? She was the first Black EGOT winner, a person who's won a medal in every part of the industry is on suspension because she said some, she said her view on the view. You hired her to moderate your show that was failing after a white woman attacked another white woman and left y'all. You, 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 you suspended black excellence on black future month because she gave you her view on a show where you hired her to give you her views. And she gave you a heartfelt apology. You suspended the woman who walked off the set and didn't want to spend a moment with a racist Bill O'Reilly who disrespected her and Muslims in front of a Jewish woman who started the show. Whoopi, you are better, bigger, and a brighter light to black people and to the culture than The View. I love The View. The View is literally my favorite morning show next to Good Good Morning America. But I ain't watching for two weeks. I, I want to be very clear. Jewish people in the Holocaust, black people in the slavery, we've all been through struggle. That's why I love the Jewish people and Jewish community and have friends that are Jewish. And I love the community that, they're, that they've built. And when I say community, meaning how they support one another. And I wish that our community did the best or better job at that. You suspended Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, wow. It's disrespectful. Bring Whoopi back. After that went viral, I got phone calls from friends of mine saying I needed to be careful because one day I'll be doing a deal and we don't want that video to pop up and ruin it. And I was really surprised that this person who knows me and knows that I am not the one for the politics said that to me in my face. And they were really uncomfortable to tell me that because on one hand, I know they were really looking out for me. But on the other hand, they knew I was going to be offended by it. So that that's what happened with the Whoopi Goldberg. Well, shortly after that, everybody knows by now, Joe Rogan over at Spotify, they were calling for his cancellation after a video surfaced with him using the N word multiple times and then apologizing. He he went to his Instagram to try to clean it up. And this is what he said. I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out. It's a compilation of me saying the N word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast and it's all smushed together and it looks fucking horrible even to me now i know that to most people there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word never mind publicly on a podcast and i agree with that now i haven't said it in years but for a long time when i would bring that word up like if it would come up in conversation and stay, instead of saying the n-word i would just say the word i thought as long as it was in context people would understand what i was doing it's a very unusual word but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now, but for years I used it in that manner. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist, but whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you fucked up. And I clearly have fucked up. Now, I'm confused. Um, I'm looking at something that's very clearly disparate to me. Whoopi Goldberg has lost almost $200,000. Um, and has been publicly admonished and and taught that she better sit down. Um, and Joe Rogan's uh, company, Spotify, stood by him. This is a man who took $100 million, right? And this was even after India Ari called her, them out and said she was going to take her uh, music off of Spotify. She since then retracts. Somebody probably called her and gave her back. I don't know, allegedly. I don't know what's going on. But either way, what did you guys think about these two different, very different, very similar, but yet different situations. I, I will say this because I don't watch The View often, but I've seen in my many years of just being on social media, some of those hosts say some s- just socially incorrect things. So many times I've never seen any suspensions. I see apologies. The show keeps going. Whoopi Goldberg is an icon, period, but definitely in the black culture. 
And I feel like what she did, if she felt like, if, if people felt like she said something incorrect, she said her apology, the suspension is so much overboard. Blue, me and you were talking about this behind the scenes. I want to kind of like, like throw it to you before we get on Joe Rogan. But the Whoopi Goldberg thing to me is kind of like, it's like, I'm, when does it stop, y'all? I'm so disgusted. I'm so disgusted. And I'm the kind of person, you know, I'm a little confrontational. I don't know if you guys have noticed. So I've actually <laughs> gotten a lot of DMs from my Jewish scholar friends. And we've gone back and forth. And they thought because they were speaking about the Jews and they were well versed that they were going to shut me down. And they've all tapped out because I'm not playing with this one. What Whoopi said was not factually inaccurate. It just needed more nuance, right? And so a black woman who has always been an ally to the Jewish community, to the point of actually picking a Jewish name to be her stage name, says something that is not incorrect, but just needs a couple extra words. And then comes back and apologizes for, for any harm she may have caused for not being more nuanced. And she gets a two-week suspension. Yet a problematic mm -hmm. white man, who I sometimes am not sure can read, says the N-word 130 plus times. Spread misinformation that if you put some Windex, your COVID will go away. And he gets to keep his job. It's clearly racist. It's clearly ridiculous. To anybody who's watching, who loves, or who is an ally to the Jewish community, and I consider myself as such, it is dangerous to, in 2022, conflate ethnic cleansing, which is very bad, with racism, because when you do that, you pretend as if Jewish people and black people are seen the same, and we both know we're not. So let's stop lying to each other about who's really at the bottom of the food chain. Black folks, what we go through is bad. The Holocaust was disgusting. But what's happening in modern times is not comparable. And it's intellectually dishonest that because you want to have access to the word racism, you are basically using her to be like a pinata for her to be made an example out of. It's disgusting. And The View constantly has white supremacists on their stage for the past 25 years. And whenever they get pushback, they say freedom of speech. So a white supremacist can be factually inaccurate and he gets grace and can be a host. <coughs> Megan McCain. Sorry. No, no, no. A white person. No, no, wait. <laughs> Megan let's McCain. Be no, let, no, let's be clear. The day that Whoopi Goldberg, as I mentioned in my video, walked off the set with um, Bill O'Reilly. She walked off the set because she said, I don't want to share the space with a racist, her and Joy Behar. When she came back, Whoopi was public, publicly ad admonished by a Barbara Walters at the time who told her, we don't just walk off and throw up our hands. This is where we say our view. Where were you at, Barbara, when they did that to Whoopi? You know, so mm -hmm. why, why do the rules only apply to people that don't? Why do they only apply to us? Why they don't apply to the people that don't look like us? And let me tell y'all, to, to you, hey, you watching, hi, the reason why I'm not bigger than I have all the potential to be is because I would have came back on live TV and I would have said, fuck y'all, you know, because she, Whoopi Goldberg is at her house contemplating one of two things. Do I go back to The View? Knowing how I've been publicly humiliated. They've been talking about me on every news channel, every show. Do I go back and sit there and don't say anything like a good old nigga and just get right back to work? Or do I go back and get the same affordability Kelly Ripa did when Michael Strahan didn't tell her that he was leaving the show where I got to, where I get to stand there, a single camera with no audience talking and say exactly how I feel? You will not give Whoopi Goldberg the same respect that you gave Kelly Ripa. And the only reason why ABC is because she's a black woman. And I'm going to go a step yes. further to say something to all of you black people, you black ass cowards who didn't stand behind her, all the celebrities who probably texted her to get on the view, all of you celebrities who are afraid to lose your position because how dare you stand with another black person in, in the face of white people, right? You should be ashamed of yourselves because when you don't stand for somebody like Whoopi, you pave the way for them to do it to somebody like me and like you. And so when I look at what's going on and I look at it all and I call it out and then I get a call to be reminded that I could be canceled and you can cancel these nuts. I'm going to do what oh. I think is right. I'm going to do what I think is right. And there's no way in hell I've been watching Whoopi Goldberg my entire black life. I'm not going to sit up here and say something. Oh, and back to you black folks. What happened to hashtag protect black women? That only applies when you get shot in the foot. It should apply when you get shot in your integrity, when you get shot in your character, and when you get your, your whole persona assassinated in front of white America. You guys should do a better job. And you know what? Don't come in my comment section saying I'm messy. Do better.